Hi! Welcome back to my channel. Today is the fourth day that I have been staying with my boyfriend's parents at their house here in Qingdao. And you know, this whole situation, it has been really special for me because I need to speak Chinese all the time. Because I want to show, like, you know, I've been putting a lot of effort into studying Chinese. <sighs> so, this time alone that I can speak English out loud is such a relief. But you know, my boyfriend's parents have been really kind and welcoming and accommodating. Uh, they provided me everything that I have needed, like shampoo, conditioner, towel, even my pajamas. My boyfriend's mom gave me this lovely silk pajamas. So because they have been so accommodating, I want to do something special for them. I thought of a way to show my gratitude towards them and to also introduce to them a little bit of where I come from. I come from the Philippines. I'm a Filipino. So I thought of cooking for them sinigang. Sinigang is a popular dish in the Philippines. Uh, we're going to the market to buy the ingredients that I need. So to cook a sinigang, you need pork, half a kilo of pork, okra, and kangkong, red onions, tomato, and of course the nor sinigang mix. I, and patis. I forgot about patis. Uh, so nor sinigang mix and patis, they're not available in China. So I asked one of my um, friends in WeChat who is a Filipino to give me some of her um, sinigang mix and she did. She was really so kind. I want just to thank Miss Marianne for giving me sinigang mix and the patis I bought it from, from Taobao. So we're gonna go to that supermarket right over there. Hi. So we're looking for Chinese Kong Kong. Okay, so they don't have Chinese Kong Kong, but you know, we're gonna make do. We have my churola. Can you guys let me know, comment below, like what else can I put in Sinigang aside from Kong Kong? This is the Okay, so we are in the kitchen. Kiss, we're gonna start cooking the sinigang. So we're gonna be preparing the ingredients first. Um, here we've got our tomato and red onion. And I think we're just going to use half of the onion. So now that we've cut and prepared our, you know, ingredients, we're just going to wash the pork. So after boiling it to this pot, I don't know because my boyfriend's father told me to boil it first in that pot. Anyway, we're gonna boil it to this pot and then we're gonna put our onions and tomatoes. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab onions. And then we're gonna cover the pot and just let it boil. Cover the pot. Let it boil to like high heat 
for about like 30 minutes and then we're gonna check it out again okay so let's go and you know have a little bit of rest and just wait for 30 minutes okay so our soup is ready and the pork is tender enough so we're gonna go put some flavor into our sinigang okay so i bought this fish sauce a piece the rapos uh, i think it's from thailand i bought it from Taobao. So we're just gonna put just a little bit because the pot is quite small And then we're gonna put our sinigang mix. So I'm just gonna use it a little bit. Make sure I didn't put a lot of the paste inside. Okay, it's definitely a little bit like um, sour, but it tastes good for me because you know my boyfriend's parents are Chinese, so I'm just gonna put just a little bit of water. Yeah. Okay, so we just put our gum on. So let's just cover it one more time and we're ready to eat. So later when um, we're ready to eat, I'm gonna show my re reaction, I guess. I'm gonna go learn Chinese for a little bit. And uh, yeah, let's bring this to a boil for about like two or three minutes and we're ready to eat.这个是对不对啊那都都去泡泡嗯太好吃了我是药啊感觉<笑><笑>